Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Yana here. Today I'm gonna be doing something I've never thought I would ever do in my whole life in public. I'm gonna be reading my old fanfiction. For those of you who don't know what a fanfiction is, it's a story based on your favorite idol, for example, your favorite singer or your favorite actor. In my case, it was One Direction. So, when I was 13, I was deeply in love with Niall Horan. And I decided to write a story about him and uh, me falling in love. Yeah, guys, that's one of the cringiest things ever in the world and I'm reading it in public and I've been asked to do this so many times but I've never found the guts to do this but now I'm finally doing it I don't think it's very fair to read this fanfiction without the right atmosphere so let's change something wow that's perfect yeah guys, I used to wear this, <laughs> but I don't know, something's missing. Mm. That's better! <laughs> now we can finally start reading my fanfiction. The title of this story is A Dream Called One Direction. Chapter number one. Hello, I'm Yana and I've always been a Directioner since I was 13 years old because of course when I'm telling this story I'm 20 so I had dreams I wanted to learn English so good that I could move to England and finally meet them one in particular stole my heart Naya Horan <laughs> and then in case you are wondering how I look like, and that's how I look like. And in case you didn't notice, uh, I'm thinking about One Direction, Nile, and English. At school, in the English subject, I was doing good, and I always had an A+. Plus. Yeah, of course, cutie, you are so good at English. Here it comes the cringiest part ever. Oh my god. Every day my love for Niall grew inside of me and I couldn't wait to meet him. Year after year I and I finished high school. Finally! I can't wait to finish high school. One direction wearing so famous and they still had a few fans, but not so many. So this story apparently was when I was 19, 20, um, at the end of uh, the fifth year of high school in summer. So basically I decided to move to London and uh, I, I took an apartment for myself and I started this very long description of my apartment uh, which I'm not gonna read you because and I don't even know why I wrote so much about this one like no one cares in case you want to know where I lived here's a picture this is how my apartment apparently looked like yep there's a picture of everything in this amazing book I don't know why it hasn't been published yet. The first day I'm there, I go to work and then in the afternoon, I was walking in the streets of London when a guy crashes against me. I don't even know if this is correct English, but this guy crashes against me because he was running and he suddenly stops and he asks me if I 
was okay if he hurted me, but suddenly I hear some cameras flashing and I see some paparazzi. He, he holds my wrist and he starts running as fast as possible and I start running with him and we finally reach a park. We sit on a bench and he goes like Hi, I'm Niall. Nice to meet you. I'm a singer in the One Direction group. Who are you? I was about to faint. But after being sure that he was for real, who he said he was, I answer him. My name is Yana. I, I've, I'm a big fan of yours since a lot and, and it's very nice to meet you. After talking about us, like he talks about his life, I talk about my life and love grows as a flower. Of course, that's how it goes. Suddenly, he wakes up from the bench and he writes his telephone number on my arm because that's cute. It was so beautiful. And he, he suddenly kissed me on the cheek. This is how chapter one ends. And I think that's enough to make you realize how cringy this thing was. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Tell me in the comments down below if you had fun watching this video. And sorry for the cringe overload. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching this week's video. Bye!